After the coming of Christianity to Ireland, holy men uh, known as anchorites began to search out uh, out of the way isolated locations. A pilgrim or a monk called Duvon came from Wales, possibly in the sixth, seventh century, and established a little monastery about one kilometre from the present lighthouse. There is a very strong tradition in this area that the monks were actually the first light keepers. From that point of view, the story of the light at the point of the hook starts here. The arrival of the Anglo-Normans at the end of the 12th century was a very significant event in the history of Ireland. Marshall quickly set about establishing his authority over the area by setting up a town at New Ross. But he knew that to make New Ross successful, he had to build a lighthouse here at the point of the hook. They were very successful in this task because the tower has stood the test of time. It's about 12 metres in diameter and about 36 metres high. But the walls are four metres thick. Standing on the first balcony of the lighthouse gives a great sense of the commanding presence of the tower here at the extremity of the peninsula and the commanding views over the surrounding landscape. The Tower of Hook has survived for eight centuries as a lighthouse largely because of its massive structure, but also because of its ability to adapt to new technology. This ability has ensured its survival up to the present time and will continue to ensure its survival well into the future.